Do I see this? Easy, it becomes easy. Hello guys, and welcome to another video. I'll just be explaining my assists in this one. So we're gonna jump into the assists straight away. So I'm not gonna waste your time here. So the settings are here. And you can see, these are the settings, but also the settings are divided into assist, controller settings, display settings, and ghost settings. I'm gonna be talking about assists in this video. Later on in another video, we might be talking about the other stuff right here, like the controller settings. Mine is 4 and 10. I think it's kind of the best for me, at least. But there is a video about those settings. So you can jump in and have a look at the video. I made just a video about that stuff. So you can have a look at what I'm doing there and you might want to try just to compare your setup and your compare your settings to me. But now let's talk about the assists. So the traction control at first is going to be zero. I cannot put it. I mean, I'm going to put it at zero at first. ABS is going to stay a default. So I'm just going to be using default setup. It's the fastest thing out there. So don't don't even try to use weak. I'm going to explain later why. But here default setup driving line you don't need the driving line you just need markers on the track you need something that you need really need to focus on rather than you know finding lines with your driving line or corner indicator which doesn't really make sense for me i mean at, at least not if you want to be competitive in this one braking indicator no it's really not useful braking area no again please please don't do this because i mean the braking area is something but you need to find a good reference point i'm i'm just gonna explain all of this but replace car after leaving the track you're just gonna fail i guess active stability management so that's something that yeah i'll go after a bit and counter steering assist so it goes weak and strong but for this one i think even strong settings could be quite useful but i'm going with i'm going with ah let's see how this is going to work so these are usually the fastest settings out there so these are the settings that you want to be using on pretty much any track out there of course manual transmission there is not a big difference between automatic and manual but just manual honestly for me it gives me a bit of i would say a bit of confidence so when i'm just trying to get around the corner okay i know I need to downshift, so I'm gonna downshift there instead of just waiting until automatic shifting does that for me, if it makes sense, but I have full control of the car. So these are the settings that give you a full control of the car. So traction control zero, ABS is at default. Please don't put it at weak, you're just gonna slide in off. No, don't, don't even touch that. I already got the gold here, 226 is the gold here. <laughs> Let's see what do I got. You see, using the dry line, staying in second. Okay, we are coming to the trickiest part of the track right here. I'm just gonna... Whoa. Please. I need, I need a good clean sector. Brakes. No, but let's try it like this. So this didn't work. As you've seen right there, the car just slipped away. It really slipped away from me. So in this tough conditions, I will put the active stability management on and counter steering assist I will put it as strong. It should help at this point when the car is getting loose. Yeah, you see this? Easy. It becomes easy to drive.
23.0. We are three seconds clear from the gold medal here. I could try this time without the, let's say, without the active stability management, but we actually, we're going to leave this one and we're going to put this one to off. So ASM is on, counter steering assist is off. Let's see how that works in compared to the other one. The car is supposed to turn better, but it also but it's also very, very loose, I guess. You can see there's all already a little difference. I just wonder how it's gonna turn there. Whoa. And there we go. Couldn't do it. So, this is a faster option. But it's a very, very bad one when it comes to handling. So let's try to give it another go. Okay. You just lose it. And I'm gonna give it another shot and then we're gonna test the other settings. And there we go. But this time, we have to test out the other settings. So let's go to the assists. And I'm gonna turn ASM up this time. And I'm gonna put the common steering assist to strong. Yeah, it looks like I need both of them. So, with the two assists, I could have easily got the lap done. But if I turn off the extra stability management, my car feels quite odd. So, I don't have as much confidence as I had before, but it's kind of slightly faster than it was before. So, I would say if you're having a car that handles better, or if it's just a dry track out there, you can disable this, no problem. Either way, if you have the counter steering assistance as strong, this is just going to be a little bit difficult to rotate the car. So you might want to try and move it up to weak. But let's try to see if that's going to work. So I do believe now it gives me the confidence. It's just going to be the matter of if I can hold it up here. No, I couldn't. <laughs> I couldn't. So, as we go through the settings right here, you can actually see that these assists really work when it comes to rough weather. But it also works when you go into a different car class. For example, if you're driving faster cars and heavier cars. But if those cars has have actually a lot of downforce, so it's going to be a little bit trickier to get a good... I would say kind of a good time but either way if you want to get like the best possible outcome you just want to you just don't want to use any settings at all but if you're struggling here if you just want to make the gold on every session if you want to get the gold on each license each mission everywhere if you want to be competitive if you're just starting as a beginner i would highly recommend these settings because these settings are now the best i would say for beginners even mediocre players and even kind of to advance, I would say advanced players, but we might even try to use breaking area. Breaking area is something that I really, really don't like, and I'll show you why. I 
I hit the breaking area right at the good time, but my ghost was still in front of me. So once again, let's go. Let's go once again into this one. So now we're using breaking area. Now you're going to see the difference. I'm going to stop right as soon as I hit the breaking mark. And my ghost is faster than me. So that means I could have potentially broke a bit later. But once again, let's try it once again, just to make sure that I hit all of that. So whenever you have an assist or whatever you have on the track, I'm going to show you the differences between your braking zone and my indicator. So my indicator is here. It starts right about here. But my usual breaking point is just about at the beginning of the 100 meter mark. So this is probably the latest you can break. But as you can see, it's quite a gap here. It's not a huge gap, but it's still a gap. So it really depends on which car class you go into. It really depends on your handling skills and overall your skills, but these settings are just gonna make you slower. Only if I miss it and focus on my previous best point, I'll have the right one. Corner indicators, driving line, let's try to see how that works. I know there's gonna be like a very, very bad scenario right here. Why? Once again. Because their driving line is not correct. It's not really showing you where to turn in and where to break. It's just showing you a line. But that line doesn't take you all the way. So it's not saying, okay, don't go here because you might touch the curb. Or it's not saying you, okay, don't touch the previous curb because you might slide. It doesn't tell you, okay, you need to be in second gear here. So as you can see, right about at this point, you're kind of touching the curb. You don't want to be doing this here because of course you're gonna slide you want to keep the car on the track on the dry line and we're gonna go into this point and i'll show you what i mean so this is the driving line now but you need to turn the wheel quite a lot to even make it so that stuff is probably gonna slide so if i hit that point right about like that the car would slide and also what the indicator doesn't tell you on how much track would you actually like to use. So sometimes you can use a bit more, sometimes you can use a bit less. Okay, this was good because I didn't want to touch the curb. But this is now too narrow. I might touch the curb and I might start to slide. So the driving line is okay if you're a beginner, if you just trying to learn driving lines and kind of how to take the corner in the right way but as soon as you start getting better i would get rid of this one and use as much track as possible so for example i can use a bit of track here and then turn in a bit earlier and then use the downshift to rotate the car so that could be a kind of a good thing but it's not really telling you where to break how to break it's just telling you to drive actually the driving line which is kind of correct or not but we got that covered and braking area as i said before it doesn't really help and i think the only two settings that you might want to consider trying out are these ones so asm and counter steering assists so that's all you need that's even more than you need and all of that stuff, ABS, of course, leave it at default, don't touch it. And of course, traction control is zero because it's the fastest option. If, I will tell you if, you're using these two settings. If you're not using these settings, you might try to put it at one or maybe even two in some conditions. One is okay, two is probably too much, three, four, five, please don't do it. So zero, if you can, one, maybe two maybe but only if you're not using these two settings so these two settings actually keep the car on the track so guys i really hope i help you with this video i hope you enjoyed with this one uh once again thank you very much for watching this you can even drop a like here or I mean, if you like of course the channel and my video so once again guys thank you very much for watching and i'll catch you guys next time bye